What's up guys, Blue Cover Productions here, bringing some more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we had unfrozen the giant Octorok, the biggest of boys, for this temple. But before we go and kick his butt, we are going to head back and get those two chests that were frozen and we couldn't get before because we didn't have the flame lantern. Because I want to get those uh chest right quick and we went the wrong way we were supposed to go the other way so let's head back the way the right way this time because you know I want to get those chests and the chests are this way okay so just let's kill these slug guys first they have no business being here and let's get some, some more life because you know kind of want to be at full health when we fight the boss and nothing okay you are empty that's fine Okay, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that has the stuff. So if we swim over here, get out of my way. Okay, I fell into the water. Let's. And what is in the first chest? Okay, dude, don't touch me. Dude, you're getting really close. Get back. Don't don't come near. That's what I thought. Uh huh. So we got a hundred mystery shells, which I'm pretty sure we use those to buy like toys. But I'm probably gonna do that like later later in the series probably maybe the end of the series maybe yeah probably because honestly I don't I don't see a reason doing it now okay this guy is really really wants me so the next chest we have to use the lily pad to get to hopefully this dung beetle thing doesn't drop his crap on me or you know no that's definitely crap that's definitely definitely it's feces that is dropping on me and I I'm honestly I'm not a I'm not a I'm not okay with that man I don't want your manure on me I mean it's a good thing we are like in a lake I mean it's not really a lake more like just dripples of water but whatever okay now let's use this and get what's in here which I'm pretty sure it's a kimstone Yep, I was right. It's a kimstone, and it's a red one. Honestly, I really need more green kimstones, because I have a lot of red ones. I have a lot of blue ones, but you know the ones I don't have a lot of? The green ones. Although, I feel like the green ones should be the easiest ones to get. Because I'm pretty sure I can just kill enemies to get them. And I'm pretty sure the game just wants me to kill enemies. And also, can you guys stop looming over me? Like, out of here. Okay, so this guy doesn't want to wait, so I'm just gonna go over here right quick, and then let him come to me. Okay, now die. See? Baited him, guys. That's how you do it. You make your enemies come to you, and then you slice them. So now that we got in the two chests, let's head over to the Octo... Rock boss fight. And... Oh, okay, now it has money. Yes, good. We want our bank account to be maxed out. And is it gonna have a heart? It does. Okay, great. I'm pretty sure I can give out more hearts before the boss fight. I'm pretty sure those, uh, what's it called? I'm pretty sure that the jars will be filled by the time I get back to that room. So we are equipped the lamb flame lantern because I know for a fact we're probably gonna use it for the boss fight. I don't know how we're gonna use it, I don't remember how. I've only fought in this boss once. So if I don't quickly remember how to, you know, fight it, don't at me. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this, my guy? You're about to become freaking, uh, what's it called? Uh, you're about to be, I was gonna say sashimi, but I don't think that's made with octopus. Whatever, I'm making you sushi, and I can, I can say that. Okay, so we hit the rocks back at him. Um, okay, we missed that one. Okay, bring it again. Shoot me again, dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we definitely have to put that tail. Okay, so we hit the rocks at him. He freezes. We burn his tail. Okay, and he's trying to suck me up and shoot me with whatever. So we need to dodge his mouth at all times. If you could just, you know, stop moving. Dude, just stop moving. Guys, not gonna lie, and he got me. And my game did not like that. Okay, wait. Dude, we we touched that tail. Don't give me that nonsense. Okay, let's use the Pegasus boots. 
Okay, now we gotta switch back to the thing, and we got him. Okay, we got him. Good. Watch him burn. Okay, now he's just spazzing out. I don't think we do any more things. I think we just have to wait for him to stop bashing, and... Okay, so this is how we beat him. Hit the rocks into him, burn his tail when he's frozen. Gotcha. Okay, spit your rocks at me, my guy. You know, you're getting really close. I need you to not get so close. Okay, now he's not just shooting the rocks. He's also trying to suck me in. Okay, so it's rock, then suck. Okay, so I'm gonna dodge. Yeah, okay. Keep my distance from his mouth. Okay, now shoot your rock at me. Okay, it broke on the wall. That's not what I needed to happen. And I'm pretty sure he's going to suck in. Wait, what? Okay, so he is he going to suck in now? Yep. And shoot me across the room, why don't ya? Okay, bro, come at me. Come on, shoot more rocks. Okay, dude, you're getting really close. Yep, he did not want to shoot rocks. He wanted to eat me. Well, you can't eat me. I'll give you indigestion. Okay, and boom. Oh, wait, can I hit? Can I get? No, I missed. I missed the rebound. It could have been a nice rebound shot, but it just didn't happen. Yo, big, fat, and ugly. Come at me. Okay, so it doesn't work unless I hit it. That is good to know. Because that totally hit him right in the face. Okay, come on, dude. Come on. Okay, he's turning nice. Honestly, I really hate this part of the fight, not gonna lie. These ice physics, man. Dude, if you could just stop moving for a sec. And I'm frozen. Get unfrozen. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Get unfrozen. Okay, we're free. Let's go. Let's get that tail. If we could just stop getting sucked up, that would be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna use the Pegasus Bootstrap because I think it will make life easier, maybe? Dude, why are you moving so much? Dude, just let your whatever. Just let me, let, just let it happen. Dude, just let it happen. Dude, just let it happen. Stop moving, my guy. You know what? No. The Pegasus Boot Strat is not working. So I'm just gonna go back to rolling, okay? Because rolling seems to do much, is much more helpful. Dude, this guy is actually annoying. Okay, come on, my guy. Let me get that tail. Stop. Stop running around, man. Let me, let me burn your tail. Come on. Yes, and... Okay, we got it. We barely touched it, but we got it. We'll take that. Okay, now he's charging at me like a wild animal. And we still have some health left. We don't have much lo uh, life left, but we have two fairies, so I'm good. Okay, now he's charging at me. I don't like this. Okay, are you going to shoot your thing? Nope, he's going to try to suck me in. Come on. Yep. Okay, shoot another one. Okay, now he's making the room dark. Come on, and... Oh, okay, okay, well... That, that was clutch, guys. We, we barely came out of that unscathed. Because that no action. He, he literally had us backed in a corner. Come on, shoot a rock at me, you stupid animal. Dude, stop charging at me with your big old nose. Come on. Shoot. And get wrecked. Shoot one more. Okay, he shot twice. And... Yes, we killed him. Okay, we got it, guys. Big Octoroth is down. And we get the water element, guys. We're about to be rewarded for our efforts. Give it to me. Ah, oh, yes. All the power in the world is mine. You got the water element. Yeah, we did. Sure enough.
Water quenches thirst, ends drought, and nourishes life. That it does. Got my water bottle right here. The water element is the embodiment of that power. The power of nourishment. Ooh, and we got another heart container. Start that next row, my boy. Mm. Starting the second row, guys. We have so many more heart pieces to collect, though. Okay, now that we have the water element, we can get the heck out of here and head to the elemental sanctuary, where we can get our, what's it called, sword, uh, you know, fixed. And we're going the wrong way. We got here not from any side entrance, but from the roof, so we need to escape through that thing. Which is why it teleported me there, yeah. Okay, yep, let's head the heck out. Come on, Ezra, let's head out. We're getting out of here. And back to Lake Hylia. Brr, I almost froze my beak off in there. Well, you know, it is cold, but like, look at me, my guy. You are high, you don't have feelings. What, what, what? What's happening? Oh, okay, it's a ghost guy. Hey, what up? A man of few words, I see. Oh, young one. I am young. Child who seeks to aid the princess of Hyrule. That is me. I do plan to do that. My name is Gustav. Okay, and you are past king. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. He also looks like the guy, uh, Ship of Red Lions. Stand before me. Only then will the path open to you. Okay, how do I do that? Where are you gonna tell me to go? Hmm, was that just a dream? He said he was the king of Hyrule. As though we're not even sleep. How could this be a dream? We're both awake. Wait, look at your map, Blade. There's some kind of mark on it. Hmm, I guess that means it wasn't a dream. We're both wide awake. We should head there once we've infused your sword with that element. Okay, but Ezra, we're not sleeping. To the elemental sanctuary. Like, literally, we're both, we both have our eyes open. And why would we be sleeping after we just got the water element? And also, like, not gonna lie, Ezra is like, you know, minish. Meh. So I'm just like... Plus he uses magic, so I'm just like, ghosts shouldn't be outside of the realm of magic, you know? I feel like if there's magic, there's definitely going to be ghosts. Okay, we got 50 rupees, that's awesome. Is there anything else in here? Like, something I can fuse kimstones with? Nope, doesn't seem to be. So, since there's nothing in there, we're just gonna, you know, go on our merry little way, and check out the area for things that we can do, because I'm pretty sure there's more people I need to fuse kimstones with, and also areas of this map I haven't really fully explored, like that cave. Pretty sure I've been down here. Oh yeah, you know, this is where I talk to the guy with the dog. And can I do anything here? Nope, doesn't seem to do anything. I think there's gonna be something later. Sup, dog? I don't know if I cute. uh, I don't remember if I Fused Kimstones with this dog? Shh. Ruff, ruff. Right, you have to be a Minish to be able to talk to them. Or you have to be small to be able to talk to them. And... My master Stockwell has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Okay, so he doesn't want to uh, fuse Kimstones, which means we've already fused Kimstones with him. And I thought that was a hole that would lead me to the outside. But, uh, it's not. It's, no, it's just a thing. So we're gonna get big and we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna leave the doggo. I'm just like, this dog is just out here in the middle of the forest with, like, no one to play with. And that's kind of sad, honestly. Okay, so, I don't know how I would get up there, so I'm just not. So if we shrink, I'm pretty sure there was a hole that we haven't gotten before. Because I was either busy doing something else, or what's it called? Yeah, that crack up there, I don't know how to do that. I don't know if, like, I think eventually, like, we Kimstone fuse with someone and it makes a vine or something away up there. That is my theory. It probably is that. 
because I don't see any other way of getting up there. So until then, we're going to go this way. Come on, through, through the hole. Okay, there we got it. Okay, so have I been in here? I don't think I have. Nope, apparently I haven't because I would not have left that chest there. So let's go and get the thing. Bro, get off me. And wait, I fell in the water. Stop touching me, my guy. Nah, that's it. You're getting dead. All of you, death to all of you. Come on. Yep, and that's what happens when you mess with Link, okay? You get the boot. And what's up here? Anything important? Nope. Just a waste of time. Okay, there's another thing. I don't... I really don't think that I actually need to set things on fire. Or light these lantern torches. So I'm just gonna go and... First I'm gonna kill these things. Because uh, they can give me money. And I want monies. See, look at that. I mean, it was two rupees, but you know what? Money is money. I might need to buy something in the store later. Who knows? I don't. And what did what's in store for me? Okay, we got a Kimstone. And it was a red one. I uh, prefer the green one. I'm just going to make sure I don't need to do this for anything. So I'm going to light them all. Just to make sure that it doesn't do anything. Okay, so it really is just to light the room up. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't unlock another chest or anything. It doesn't go din -din -din -din, Nothing. Okay, so we're just gonna leave. So yeah, all we really got from that was a Kimstone. Yeah, I'm fine with it. A Kimstone is helpful, especially in this game, because it unlocks so much other stuff. You're here to steal my beans, aren't ya? Well, you're out of luck. It's grown way too big now. Ha ha ha. So how was my elder impression? He talks just like that, doesn't he? I mean, sure, kid, he talks exactly like that. I mean, I don't think he talks even exactly like that, but he talks... Yeah, he kind of does talk like that, if we're being really honest about the elder. So let's get to big again. Actually, no, wait, I want to stay small. There was something down here, if I remember correctly. Yep, see, there is a hole down here, so let's... And I'm pretty sure when we came here before, we didn't have the flippers. And then when I did come back with the flippers, I just forgot to go here, so... Okay, so what's in here? We got another thing. And, yep, untouched. Because, you can tell, because this chest is still occupied. Okay, if I can just not fall down the same hole, the bottomless pit, that would be great. Okay. Nice and slow, don't touch me. I almost fell off. I'm just I'm just gonna go. Just gonna ignore the slugs and I'll get them on the way back, honestly, after I get the chest. Okay, didn't wanna go too fast, didn't wanna end up falling off again. Okay, now I'm being bombarded. Yep, it was a gemstone. And not a green one. I wish it would be a green one. I want the green gemstones. Cause like for some reason I have a lot of all the other gemstones except the green ones. Although I do want a few new blue ones, man, because the red ones I have in abundance. And I'm just like, why can't they want the uh, red Kimstone more than the blue one? Or the green one. Because the green ones are the one I have least of, and that seems to be the one everybody wants. Okay, can't go this way, so we have to head back the way we came. And you know what, before we get our sword, you know... Power it up. I wanna... What's it called? I wanna head into the Minish Woods because I'm pretty sure... I don't know if it was... I think I never Kimstone fused with the Elder. If I'm thinking about this. If I remember correctly. Because uh, before we didn't have the right Kimstone. It's either now or whatever, but I don't think we had the right Kimstone. We either didn't have the Kimstone he wanted. Or what, like, far enough in the game where he, what's it called, uh, gives us the thing. I don't know. Haven't played that game this many times. So I, I really am not sure. So we're just, I'm gonna go check, okay, guys? Doesn't hurt to check. I'm gonna go check to see if the thing he does, or if it's the, if I'm ready, I'm from what, uh, remembering correctly, he does the thing so he can get an item. 
I don't remember what. No, I think it was. We had to talk to him to get more bombs or something. Ah, welcome. Back for Granny's famous red and blue potion. One sip and you're full of energy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm maxed out on uh, potion bottles, so, you know. Can't really get any of your, you know, potions right now, old lady. But, uh, you know what, Granny? Maybe eventually I'll take one of your potions, you know? Probably not, because I, I, I like fairies more, because with the potions, if you don't drink it, then you're not getting the health. And then you die. But with the fairies, you don't get the... With the potions, you get the full life. You get all your hearts back. Your fairies, you only get like, what, eight hearts, I think? It was eight or six hearts. You don't get your whole life back, but they bring you back from the brink of death. So... They both have their advantages. They both have their disadvantages. But I like the fairies more. Even though... the Okay, I thought there was going to be something down there. But it looks like I've already uh, got that chest. Okay, we're gonna make our way through the acorns. Beautiful, beautiful. And now we're in the Minish Village. Now let's go talk to the Elder and see if he wants to fuse Kimstone pieces with us and give us better bombs. Because I'm pretty sure you have to talk to him to activate a thing. I'm pretty sure, yep, okay. You want to fuse Kimstone? Yes, please. Okay, and we have it. See, guys? We have abundance of the one he wants. Okay, and... Yes, so this is what I wanted. Yes, he is the guy. I knew it. I remembered. You know what would be great? A bomb that went off only when you wanted it. Hmm, actually, I think I could probably make one with just a few minor tweaks. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted, guys. And he's right next door. I knew this guy made bombs, and I knew this guy made it happen. So we're gonna head over and get those bombs. They fit beautifully. This is a sign of good things to come. Oh, for me, Elder. For me. I don't know about you, but good things are coming my way. And in the door next door, neighbor of the what's a guy. You want to fuse Kimstones? So let's give it a try. Oh wait, that was the wrong one. Okay, yep. The two Kimstones fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Okay, and what do we got here? Okay, so we got... Okay, we have a treasure chest. And where is this? Wind Ruins. Okay, I remember where that is. It's like after the swamp. They fit perfectly. I wonder, does that mean we're in for good luck? Uh, I'm pretty sure I am. Not sure about you. Now give me those bombs. At last, it's complete. The remote bomb. It blows up whenever you want. That will make my life so much easier. If you ever need normal bombs again, just trade me back for them. So, why would I want normal bombs ever again? Want to trade for remote bombs? Uh, heck yeah. You got a remote bomb. Just so you know, guys, press the button to place a bomb, then press the button again to de uh, detonate it. If you ever want to use normal bombs again, just come see me. Guys, all I have to say, though, is, uh, looks like, uh, you know, young, uh, what? Looks like, yeah, Minish Cap did it fast with the, you know, remote bombs. Not Breath of the Wild. Just wanted to say that. Doesn't mean anything, but it's honestly awesome that you can give remote bombs. And also, the fact that now I can have the bombs blow up when I want is cool. I think that's an awesome mechanic because you can, first of all, I think it will definitely help with certain fights. When you need to lure enemies close to the bomb so you can explode it. Like, that's gonna be... That opens up so many doors, guys. It's gonna be so helpful when we start fighting Dark Knights in this game. So now we're gonna... Before we, you know, infuse our sword, we're gonna head over to the, um, what's it called? Win quest. So that we can, um, get the... A few items. Because, what's it called? I'm pretty sure there was also, like, a golden creature in the Wind Ruins that we also needed to collect money from. So, we're gonna also collect on that one. So, let's do it. Fight me, statue, in this wall. Come at me. Come on. Don't. Okay, he's done. We did it. He's done, in Wings. Let's move on. Don't touch me, Tektites. You dirty. Okay, just get past these Tektites. 
Don't want to deal with you guys right now. I'm on a quest, a side quest, to collect and make myself better. Also, eventually, we're going to need a beanstalk there to get, I think, a piece of heart or something. I don't know. I don't know what the item is, but it's, it's definitely an item. I think it's a piece of heart, but I'm not sure. Okay, there's the Octo Oct. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to beat this gold guy. Oh, yeah, this dude. Okay, so we have to shrink real quick. We're going to turn him off. We're going to shrink, grow, then go back, and then beat the Octo Oct. We literally just got finished beating up a giant one. Now we're going to fight a golden one. So let me grab this rock and move it out the way. Uh, rude, don't make me break you. Oh, wait, guys, I actually forgot we could break rocks with our sword. I think that was one of the... What's it called? Special moves we locked? Okay, we got 100 rupees. Okay, let's break these rocks and get some life energy. And we're getting more of these shells. Ooh, okay, arrows. I mean, you can never say no to arrows. And what's in here? You got a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. Okay, well, isn't that convenient? We literally just got bombs, and now we can carry more bombs. Okay, so how many bombs are we now able to carry? Okay, we can carry 99 bombs. That's awesome. Okay, so now that we've done the side quest, we're going to go to the elemental sanctuary and get our sword, you know. We're going to get our sword powered up. So let's do this. But first, let's talk to this guy. Only a few guards are still out there looking for that light force stuff. Well, sad to say you're never gonna find it because it's meant for the chosen hero and, you know, the goddess reincarnation, which Zelda is. I don't know if she's the reincarnation of the goddess in this game. She probably is, but I don't know. I'm not sure. By the order of the king, none shall pass. Now be gone with you. Okay, fine. I kind of have business here, so I can't really leave. By the order of the king, none shall pass. Now be gone with you. Okay, whatever, man. I don't even care. Because I have business with the elemental shrine. And the king is being possessed. So, I'm going to cut this grass here. Wait, I'm pretty sure one of these grass places had a thing that I needed to, what's it called? We're definitely gonna use that later. I'm pretty sure one of these glasses had a secret path. Okay, this is it. This is the path. Not really a secret path, but like a, a thing. Okay, so let's head in here after breaking this part. And what do we have here? Okay, we have a Blade Master and we got a piece of heart. Excuse me, we got a piece of heart. Okay, so let's light up this place and then we can start our training. You are in the presence of the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Grimblade. Mm-hmm. If you train with me, you'll become a true master swordsman. Okay, I'm ready for this. So, would you like to train here? Uh, of course. Now you will, uh, you will learn the meaning of power with the technique, the sword beam. Okay. First, when your hearts are full. Okay, when our hearts are full, Second, swing your mighty sword. Okay, Master Grimblade, we will do so. That really all there is to it, young swordsman. Okay, th that sounds simple enough. Do you understand? Uh, of course, 100%. But this is only the beginning. Now comes the real thing. Oh, I'm ready, my... F I'm ready, Master, let's do this. One must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body, so as to demonstrate the technique. Honestly, why don't they teach me the possession technique? This is the Grimblade uh, possession technique of training. Watch this. Urgh. Possession. You know what? I think the strongest Bloid Master is the one that can teach me the possession technique. Because that would come in handy. Phew. Now you must try it yourself. When your hearts are full, swing your sword with all your might. And we done it. We've learned the sword beam. Yes. Fine work. You know the way. I will now give you this tiger scroll. You hear that, guys? We know the way. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this soul scroll. Uh, with this scroll. I don't know why I put soul there. You learn the secret sword beam fighting technique. 
fire beams from the tip of your blade. We're gonna do that guys, we're gonna cause destruction. You can only do this when your life energy is full. So that means when we have full hearts. I bow down to the master, Master Grimblade for teaching me such an epic technique. Now the art of camping I will do. No more will I fight up close and personal. Camp all the way. The master of camping. Thank you Grimblade. I will use your teachings to camp like the camper that I am. Guys, with the power of the sword, I'm gonna camp the crap out of these enemies. Hey dude, do you wanna fuse Kim's out? A visitor, how rare. I don't have much to offer, but you're welcome to stay. Okay, and you wanna fuse Kim's down? What's that? You want to fuse Kim's down pieces with me? Okay, and we do not have the one he wants. That is perfect. You're quitting? Guys, this is what I'm telling you. I need these green gemstones. I might have to... I didn't want to fall back in. I might have to, what's it called? Off-screen farm for some green gemstones. Because this is ridiculous. Like, like too much, too often. I am just not having gemstones, the green ones, to fuse with people. And I'm just, it's nonsense. Okay, so this is where, what's it called? Piece of heart was. So we don't need it. Okay, well, we can't get into the sanctuary this way. So we have to, uh, you know, gotta sneak through the garden this way. So let's do it. Okay, don't look at me, my guy. Just do not look. Do not look in my general direction. And everything will be all good. Okay, we got past that guy easy enough. Okay, and... Hey, you. None may enter. Yeah, we didn't. By the order of the king, none shall pass. Now we... Yeah, we didn't do that well, guys. We kind of just, we kind of ran and just, we we weren't careful, guys. This time, let's be more cautious. We're going to be more mindful. We're going to do a lot more sneaking, okay? Like, Solid Snake said, you know. Actually, I don't know any Solid Snake reference. Except Snake. 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 But yeah, we're going to, okay, that was close. We almost got spotted. Okay, this is our time. Okay, no, we're just gonna lay low a little bit. Okay, come on. Okay, this time. We gotta go. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, you. None may enter. What do you mean? Literally no one saw me. How did he see me? I literally ran behind the bush thing. There's no way he should have saw me. Okay, whatever, game. You know why? You can be finicky all you want, but I'm still gonna make it past. So this time, guys, let's do it without getting caught. Even though I still think that last time we got caught was shenanigans because he did not see me. He like I, I was already around that corner. Like he no way he saw me. Like who saw me? Okay, I'm just gonna let him go again. You know, get in the next round because I, I just want to play it safe. Okay, this time we're not wasting no time. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna quickly go. Okay, he didn't see me that time, and I'm okay with this. And here's another ladder thing, so let's go down it and see what there is. There are snakes. Let's kill the snakes because I am not a fan of snakes and I don't want these snakes in this dungeon, okay? I'm tired of these mother flippin' snakes in this milliwhopping dungeon, okay? So get the heck out. Okay, the snakes are gone. Let's go through this door and boom, we're in Hyrule Castle. Now let's make our way to the sanctuary so we can upgrade our sword. Don't, no reason to talk to the king. The king is kind of... Kinda not in his right mind, you know. And behold, the elemental sanctuary. Now let's get our sword upgraded and let's find the new king. Or not the, the old king, the dead king. Okay, so first we're gonna use our ability and get this door open. Now we gotta put our sword in the pedestal. Okay, here we go, and cutscene. Look at that blade, and it's blue, which is my favorite color. The power of the water element has infused your blade. Yeah, it has. Look at that nice shade of blue. The power of this element allows you to split into three copies. Guys, the more lengths, guys. We have more lengths. You thought two lengths were annoying? Well, now we got three lengths and a blue sword. And there's only one more element that we need. I think it's the wind element? Is it the wind element? 
I, I really don't remember what the last enemy is, guys. But guys, you thought two was annoying? Well, three is a party, guys. Three links is a party. Look at that. Amazing. The door is already open, so we don't have to wait. So guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Blue Cave Productions, and I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye, and stay frosty, my friends. See you around.